Hey there, Marvel and Sideshow Collectibles fans. I'm Dr. Tang from whatsyourobsession.com, and I'll be doing one of my video reviews of the Scarlet Witch comic head designed by Mark Brooks. Now, I just received this on Friday, but I was so impressed that I decided to fast track my review so I could show you guys how gorgeous this statue is. So, why don't we start by taking a closer look? I've been a fan of Mark Brooks' art style for a good while now. When I found out he was brought on board with Sideshow Collectibles to make a series of comicettes based on his designs, I was really excited about it. When Dagger came out, I had the, I purchased the exclusive, and I wasn't quite 100% happy with it. You'll see in my text review in a few weeks what my issues were. But every preview image I saw of the Scarlet Witch looked absolutely gorgeous. A super accurate representation of his art. So when I received the statue, I was really glad to see they knocked it out of the ballpark. Now there was one issue in the preview pictures, not most, but some, where it looked like the Scarlet Witch was indulging in some serious reverb. Now not there's anything wrong with that, but I like my Lady Comicettes looking completely sober. Weird, I know. And I was glad to see that when it was delivered, that little paint application problem was completely cleared up and her face looks fantastic. I really like cutesy interpretations of known characters. If you've seen the custom Mark Brooks uh, Mary Jane on a kind of barstool comic head, you know that that one had a cutesy little venom on there, and it was custom made by somebody on the statue form, I believe. And now, to see them work in this cutesy little uh, vision, great touch. This little guy is adorable, just take a look at him. And then when you see how they've worked into the style with Wanda controlling him, and, you know, that happy expression on her face, just be playing around with Vision, it really works great for the pinup style they were going for. Now one thing that puzzled me about this statue, compared to the other recent ones I've gotten from Sideshow, was the complexity of the construction. When I opened it up, it was in a whole lot of separate pieces. It was practically like putting together a Lego set, which is why I'm assuming Sideshow's been putting up PDF instructions on their site, so you actually assemble everything correctly. That said, it did all go together very smoothly, and the magnets on each of the pieces are actually, they've got a very good grip. You don't need to worry about it falling apart. Looking at the overall pose, Wanda here has a very sexy and confident look to her, and she's incredibly well sculpted. Now, just take a look at the folds of the fabric, the way the cape billows out, and compare it to, say, the previous Brooks comic head, especially in the hair area, which was one issue a lot of people had with the dagger, she kind of had a helmet hair thing going on. In this, it looks far more natural and flowing. And then you can take a little look at uh, Vision down there. And I think he looks great. He looks just like a cutesy version of Vision should. The paint on mine is superb. Whether you're looking at the clothing and how it's highlighted and shaded, or you're looking at the cape, even the metallic nature of Vision, skin tones, Everything looks really, really great. There is one issue I have with the paint job. I'm sure it's just an isolated thing. The back of my base, there appears to be some splotchy black paint, uh, paint as well as a little bit of damage. I've already contacted Sideshow about it, so not too concerned. I'm sure they'll take care of me on that front. Now, there has been one common issue with this statue. It's the area between the breasts appears to be stuck together, whether by some casting material or paint. This doesn't happen to all of them. And on mine, it's very minor, but I've seen other pictures where it's downright distracting. There's also the same kind of thing going on between the legs, but everyone can expect it there. It's a difficult area to get to. You can't really do anything about that. So while I'm glad mine doesn't have this issue, I am looking forward to all the people on the forums talking about how they had to call Sideshow asking for a replacement because their Wanda's gigantic bosom was squished together. Should make some good posts. My final thoughts on the statue? My minor issues with it, the paint problem on the back of the base and the casting material going on on the top and the bottom there, prevent me from giving it a perfect score, but it's going to get as close as it can otherwise, which in my books is a 4.5 out of 5. This is a gorgeous statue and well worth buying. I suggest you pick it up because I've got, an idea, I've got a hunch that it's going to be a quick sellout of most retailers. So I hope you enjoyed my review. This has been Dr. Tang from whatsyourobsession.com. See you guys around.